So I learned something the other day, right? I learned what this is right now. What? What we're doing. The introduction. No, it's called a cold <laughs> it's called a cold open. A cold open, like a cold call. So what you're meant to do is you're meant to start with like a slightly irrelevant funny story. <laughs> or something. Like I don't know. I could be telling you about I could be like, oh Don't usually people do this like in the edit, they just grab like a really good part of the podcast and they play it before nah, because that would be like a teaser, a teaser yeah. but a oh. cold open a cold open is what we do where we talk, talk about something <laughs> irrelevant that kind of just like people listen to it and they're like what the hell's going on yeah and then it snaps into the intro but i don't like cold calls i hope that it's not that was your fucking cue <laughs> <laughs> i gave you the eyes <laughs> yeah. i was like then it snaps <laughs> no, in. There you. why are you hovering over the intro button Looks like you're about to do it. No. <laughs> um, precursor to this podcast, Darwin is here. I'm already prepared to shout at him for making noise, but we love him. Uh, yeah. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Woo! We missed a fucking two missed. weeks. Mm-hmm. Pretty oh, yeah. much. The reason being, right, is we had to... It, I guess the truth is we were just really busy. Yeah, I know we were. But yeah, what we what we could claim is that we've been working really hard to secure an extra special guest for episode 100 because we're on episode 99 of the Merch Podcast, which is what you're listening to right now. Mm. Uh, and the, the, the 100th episode is going to be a spectacular... It might not be out in, in exactly a week's time because we've got a lot to get ready for it. And there's props, there's I mean, the big budget stuff. I don't know if an elephant will fit in this room, to be honest, but we can try. That's just hit me that is a hundred. That's ridiculous. They could build like an AI version of me and you probably out of the mouth. I know. We could, we, we could die. We could die and they yeah. could do audio books with our voices. Yeah. I reckon cool. it'd be really weird if we died and like the peop some people would listen back from the start because there was we've done it for so long it would you'll see like Oh yeah, yeah. Our moods change and, and te- stuff. Technically we could have done a hundred in a year, but we obviously had big dips yeah. and, and uh-huh. ebbs and things. Yeah. Um for no. Wow, yeah. if anyone, I don't know, how would they comment? Can you comment on this? They could leave a review on I was going to say, if anyone's, got, if anyone's made it from the first one to here, that oh, would we've be got very people. impressive. Yeah, There's every is. single Lots one. There's a lot of people yeah. who listen to every single one. Yeah. Every single one, though, that's ridiculous. Like when you see the Spotify rewrap things, wrap mm. ups, and people have done like, you know, you listen to 4,000 hours of Keelan and Giles talking Jesus about their own posts. Right. Robbie's here, else. by the way, if Hello. you're watching or listening, wearing- Mr. Yellow. Wearing it's bloggies. Getting, it's getting really warm now. Oh, we can turn the heater on if you want. <laughs> Get yes. you sweaty. Um, Robbie's down visiting. Yeah, he's, he's not. Up. He's not here enough, but he's promised that he'll be here I'm more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, now the accommodation's getting better. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> My cold, my, the real cold intro I should have done and something that I wanted to get out of the way sooner rather than later because it's relevant and we need money uh, is we just released new clothing. Mm. The spring collection designed by Spiffy Hippie. He's called Tyler, but I don't know if he's sure. like, you know, secret alias and he's a creative artist and he doesn't want to be known as his real name. But he, That's Spiffy's real name? Tyler, yeah. Too late now. He killed it. <laughs> yeah. he, he really, really killed it. Really yeah, good to work with him. Yeah. We, we've already got some more stuff that we're like playing around with him. Um, and if you want a discount, prod me on on the website uh it i think i unintentionally deactivated it a while ago and then somebody sent me a message so it's it's now it should be back up nice but um yeah i i, I think you did a fucking crazy good yeah. job yeah yeah we, we haven't had anything like this in a while and i feel like some of the color combos we haven't actually done before yeah, so a lot nice. of new colors, a lot of poppy colors as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah, it's I mean, lovely. it was just good to actually have stock because we had the whole trousers thing, which most people know about, and then actually having stuff that sells is great. Yeah, RD helps. Um, <laughs> mm. But yeah, because the, the the original shirt, the the motorcycle popular one, was actually bloggy came up with the idea of motorcycle popular, which is Latin for movement for the people, uh, and then we kind of had a few internal back and forth, some ideas, and then got chatting to Tyler Spiffy sent him that kind of concept and he just started playing with these like collages of like blending people together mm. and oh because we've got it here yeah so you've started playing with that and then like in other sketches he also played with that because mm. it was meant to be just like one design and then it just kept going really so i'm um, beast yeah i personally it. love this one mm. um, i like it i feel like we've all got different favorites yeah, and things. yeah. it means Everyone that yeah, it I like. Yeah, it's good. It means that different people have like their tastes. Uh, the yeah. Six of us all in the one video. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah, I like them the all, but I'm surprised at how much I like this one because mm. I like the green on blacks. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. 
So, um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who's picked it up so far. There's been a, a lot of you, but yeah, if you, you know, prod me, stick, fing mm -hmm. stick your fingers. Up. <laughs> Hi, yeah, Robbie. Hello. <laughs> Still wearing clothes, you, ignoring you. <laughs> yeah. So, Robbie, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Mr. Hernia, not yeah, no, hernia. I'm a lot better yeah. now. So. I know about your hernia, but I feel like it'd be interesting for people to hear about it. About the non-hernia? Yeah, the non-hernia. Yeah, non well, it's not a hernia. The, so. non the nernia, the nernia. Yeah, the nernia. I, I mean, for like three months? No. Yeah, three months, actually. Wow. No three? Remember. It was a Three lot. Months. I feel like it was. Was that was no training at all? Yeah, no training. So like, it was more waiting on the results and waiting on the tests and all that kind of. What NHS was the first thing. sign? So I had. I just woke up one morning, sat up, had a pain in my abs. I was like, oh, I've not trained in two or three days. I still can't be sore muscles. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It was a kind of like pulled muscle pain. It was a tightness. I thought, well, that's strange. Blah, blah blah. Go training. Next day, it's worse. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, that. Mm. well, I've still not done anything to make it worse. Yeah. And then I found a little lump. Oh, and that's I was like, surely your brain is this. Like, oh, yeah, oh, no. <laughs> cancer, cancer, yeah. big C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then, obviously, I went to the doctors, and straight away they were like, "Oh my God, you've got this rare, rare hernia. It's in a different place from usual hernias. It's more likely to strangulate. You have got to stop doing all this stuff." And so, strangulation is when it cuts itself off. So when it comes out and doesn't go back in. So a hernia is basically a hole in your stomach. Yeah, yeah. And my mum had one. I think yeah. after. I think after having like me and my sister and then uh, yeah. a, a year or so after i remember for like when i was a tiny tiny kid she had like you know the the echoings of a past hernia and she yeah. had to be a bit careful about certain things but the strangulation thing does so that so if you do dynamic movement yeah you tear your whole hole bigger <laughs> and oh. something comes out if it's i think if it's small then it's a bigger chance of something coming out and not going back in yeah and then whatever's out doesn't get any blood supply so it just gets Clotted. So like oh, a shit. bit of your like poo pipe could come out. A bit of your bowel, a bit of your intestine, a bit of anything. Yeah. Pop out and then you just faint from like lack of blood. And then that's <sighs> when you can like get emergency operation to like basically get rushed to A&E and you have to cut your belly open. Wow. That's thing. I so swear. for three months you lived with that thinking. That, that wasn't a hundred percent, was it? it so was the doctor like, was like, okay, I felt your stomach. Yep, that's super rare. I'm gonna put you on an urgent referral to the surgeon. Yeah. And mm. that's like a month away. So I was like, all right, that's very urgent. Yeah, and fuck <laughs> like, me, like. That's... So every little kind of tightness or like time I moved, I was like, oh no, oh no, it's like kind of paranoia. <laughs> yeah, like, like, oh, shit. <laughs> but the thing is, like hernias are like, like you said, your mum, yeah. like, pregnant women, yeah, yeah, obese yeah. people, or elder age. Yeah. So like, I was like, where did I get it from? What, what have I done? Do you know what I mean? I mean, I guess um, you've had years of trampolining and like you've had back issues. Very dynamic yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. But yeah, so after waiting three months and sacking the NHS and going private, yeah. paying for a CT scan, uh, learned it was trauma in my lower back that might be causing swelling to my. And is that lymphoid. confirmed? Like, well, that's what the that's what the CT scans are. They said yeah, I guess, nothing, I guess there's no hernia. Couldn't find any tear. Yeah, so I'm not going to make anything worse. That's so good. I've got a bad back. They said there's a lot of trauma. We can see that. Nothing that's insignificant with your career because mm. obviously they know I jump about. But I still don't know what it is. So yeah. they said that there's a so lot of trauma in that area. And I mean, you've had swelling. You, you've had back issues for a while. At least right? that well, aligns. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. aligns with like, oh, well, I do have back issues. Makes a bit of sense, but I'm still like, why is there a lump? Why is it here? <laughs> why, like, yeah. why is it not on that side? Why is it only here? And mm. But you managed to train. We trained a few days ago. And that's that was the thing. Right. So I can still feel it, but back to training, I know I'm not going to make it worse. But so it doesn't okay. hurt. It doesn't hurt. That's the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. So three months was more just paranoia. I could I could have trained through that, but I was can more you, like. It's just part of your body now. You just got like touching it like you know it's there it's yeah so like, it's weird though so i'll train all day and i'll go home and i'll brush my teeth and i'll be wiggling and then i'll feel it brush my teeth and i'm like yeah <laughs> one of the most strangest times do you know what i mean compared to like it's doing probably when you're almost not doing, think, yeah, yeah yeah but it's a little niggle and it's more just little lumpy body yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's crazy that things like that can put out people i guess athletes of any sport for a while for sure. like just the unknown kind of like yeah. well suddenly you're you yeah know, or suddenly you got this yeah, yeah and then you just can't train it's like fuck's sake. you don't realize how much you use your core for everything like yeah everything. Like sitting up in bed same as your back like yeah, 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 that's yeah. Gone, you're like oh i use this for everything and yeah <laughs> you know I mean? the worst is when you have you ever done your neck like badly nah it, like when you yeah. like it'll happen at some stage when you pull you know when you pull your back and you can't sit up like an old man i can put yeah. socks on if you do yeah. that to your neck you suddenly just realize how even like just looking like there, just just the tiny <laughs> head movements where you're just like, cause you'll sit in a chair and you'll be in agony mm. and it will somebody walk in the room and you'll kind of just go, ah, oh! <laughs> like <laughs> reflex. Yeah, it yeah. sucks, it's so bad. It's crazy that you used to pull your back quite a lot. Yeah. When we so go out much. training, it'd be quite a regular thing that the session would end when your back ends. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, for yeah. Me, yeah, that's what I mean. I but like, it's around. changed so much since. Well, it's because I used to sit on the sofa and edit. edit. All the time. Yeah. yeah. Now I sit on the sofa and then get up and, and then work out. Yeah. Sit on the bike. Yeah, true. Sit on the bike. No. It's movement. Lifting, Bloggy says. It works. Lifting. Yeah, we've got a squat yeah. rack in the office now, so we're all getting dench. Mm -hmm. dench, dench. dench. But apart from hernia and stuff, 
your did that does that mean you had to stop on your stunt work yeah so high diving rock climbing like karate mm. all these things were just put on hold and the worst part was i was like it's not painful enough that i could mm. i could still train it's more mm. than the paranoia yeah, so yeah after yeah. i found out through the ct scan that it wasn't a hernia I was raging. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I had the ultrasound. That's the weirdest part. I had an ultrasound. They still they didn't find the jelly on you. Yeah, oh, yeah. ultrasound's oh, sick. So, yeah, it felt so cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're they're pregnant. like, but after they told me, they told me I couldn't find one, and they were like, oh no, but it could still be a hernia. It could just not come up in the shoot in the test. Right. It could be like so intact that the lining doesn't show a hole. Wow. I was like, why give me an ultrasound then if it can <laughs> yeah. still be a hernia? <laughs> it's not going to give me a definite answer. So mm. like, I waited a month for that. Got the ultrasound, waited like I guess because if it was a bad hernia, then, they, then the ultrasound was out. So, so yeah. yeah, but mm-hmm. it's that thing that yeah, it's a very long waiting game. Just yeah. You just want like a full body scan thing where it goes like, yeah, and it's like tells you everything about you, yeah. what's off mm. stuff. That'd be so like, I mean, sure, what 50 years' time, all the celebrities and things will just have like a little thing in their bedroom and they get scanned. And it's like, oh, we've detected one cancerous cell. <laughs> Sorted. <Go on. laughs> and you get these like elite. Because it's so early. It yeah, yeah. You get these like elite it. human beings. I mean, that could already and be a thing. And the poor people are like breaking into their houses trying to use them and things. <laughs> wow, that could be a thing. Well, um, but, wait, yeah. I saw there's a film about that where like... Elysium. The, Elysium yeah, the elite people have the... They, they go to a different uh, uh, planet, right? Or like a spaceship. Sure. Is it like... <laughs> I was going to say, of sure. course, blogging. I feel like I started watching thing. it. And I haven't finished it. It's the same universe as uh, District 13. It is. Yeah, oh, yeah. and they, they have to... Yeah. No, sorry, D12, 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 District 9. District 9, yeah, the alien one. Yeah, District 13. I was like, what? David Bell. I knew what you meant. I know what you meant. Yeah, there's that scene where they like get them in the scanner. But yeah, so... But when... I can't remember when we last saw you. Or when you were on this. Yeah, we obviously Sheffield, but like when were you last on this? I was last on this before you had... The Even full. the podcast and the yeah, HQ. oh no, me and Johnson done one in the HQ. The oh, HQ. about our emotion. Yeah, 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 but I mean, yeah, I guess the last time we caught up was you. It was a lot about stunts, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that is yeah, that uh, apart from the well, I guess hernia plus COVID. Get yeah, a lot. It's so like, a slow two the classes years. stopped because of yeah, COVID. But, yeah. um, slowly but surely getting back into. Mm-hmm. It. Yeah. But nice. you're still grinding but stunts. Still going. Doing. Still trying to. Because yeah. you're telling me, yeah. telling me yesterday about some of the like fucked things you have to learn for high diving yeah, or whatever it's called crazy stuff you have to do off a big 10 meter board yeah. it's a big list of just horrible moves you have to learn to do and you doubled my hero yeah. H, H. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I went bold for the first time my man from Manny yeah that was that wasn't yeah. it you shaved your head mm-hmm. we Are found we out do it tall. again tonight yeah. <laughs> think so maybe yeah. <laughs> depends how good bloggy's beard trimmers are yeah top notch top notch top apparently. notch <laughs> um I shouldn't look at my list because it makes me want to just jump on, but shall we jump in on or what? I mean... You got anything to say? We only got need to share? I had a hernia. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Three months of doing nothing. I'm still robbing. I, I tell you what, still though. Rubbing. What he does have is he ha- he's managed to save a million iPhone clips for posting. Yeah, he hasn't posted footage. them yet. I've been really he posted the first one yesterday. He's just got a massive like backlog since last summer. I didn't want to sit and watch Parker and edit it when I couldn't train. But you know, <laughs> if you just share like a clip a day, your I followers was, will go up. I was then. going to make a compilation and then yeah, I still do that. Move and just didn't. But your followers <laughs> will go up and then you'll feel better about yourself. Yeah, that's true. I know what you Very mean though. True. When you're when you're injured and you have parkour clips, like editing them just makes you feel sad. It gets you in that mood every time. Well, you're oh, just like ready to train. You're like, oh, oh, so it, was, oh. it was nice to have a month or two off social media because like, yeah. I've never done that. So yeah. Not that I post like every day and kind of need it, but it was nice just to yeah, know, yeah. take a step back, not be scrolling. You kind of remember what you're doing things for a bit. Speaking of being off social media, because this is a sweet tangent. Oh, hello. A he's got a double yellow. Yeah. He's, got, he's got a double zip as well. But it's the fact that you've got a yellow Ooh. hoodie on underneath. <laughs> More yellow. Just bumblebead. He's got a little bit of ventilation. Um, yeah, speaking of lack of social media, this is something that you and me are not aware of, but, and I'm going to fluff the name because we currently don't have Wi-Fi in the office and I couldn't get the exact name down, but in LA last week, yeah, it was just last week or a few days ago, they had, it was either di- Discourse or, I'm pretty certain it was Discourse and not Disclosure. And I don't know who put it on, but basically they rented out a studio and a load of parkour photographers um, like Casey, Noah, as in North Reach Boogie, Ryan Kelly, uh, Emily had stuff there. There's so many, like so many sick photographers had a gallery showing somewhere in LA or near LA. Loads of people went and it just looked sick. 
mm. and it looked very just like we need more of this like yeah. we need one in london we need like we need someone to do that we need like and they've i don't know if it was intentional but the kings of the concrete which we're going to talk about in a minute is the tempest event that's happening this week um i don't know if they timed it intentionally for that but it just meant that so many people were in town and it was mm. like a celebration of culture and art that is related to our sport and people's parents went and other people went that's sick and it was sick like mm. from what i saw it looked fucking cool so well done whoever put that on and also whoever took part and let's do more things like that please i've never really seen stuff like that it was yeah. really really cool like just for a mm. couple of days on instagram it was just clearly like that all the guys were there like building out you know like frames for their mm. the sort of canvases or boards or whatever and photo walls See, and things. this is where there can be more i don't know just more of a what do you call it economy within parkour yeah with, yeah with just more things because like it's that. like if those yeah, guys were then the selling prints to yeah. people it's like and it's the start like there's things yeah yeah 100 percent. so cool 100 mm. oh well, yeah if someone could do that in london and also it's like it's like gyms should be trying to put on like we already have existing spaces and it's like it'll be very easy to turn a gym area it might not feel as cool as like a flashy art gallery mm -hmm. but like it's a space and it'll be very easy to say cool we're having a, a uh, like a, a a gallery night yeah and all these parents who drop off their 12 year olds it's like come in and appreciate the shit that's coming out i mean look we got some of this shit in here mm -hmm. end yeah 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 exactly i take it for granted actually all the stuff that's surrounding us at the moment yeah there's a lot of cool yeah. cool things this that is have the been first day i've been here and i was like what yeah. <laughs> this is so nice, nicer than the last one and the last one was nice but like this is like oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. we lucked out with this one for sure yeah, but even like coming through the front doors when you see all the old photos when yeah you come into the left yeah it's like very very sick to see and now we just have an amethyst sitting there like, i really need to give back to my mum yeah it looks like we purposely got that there as she, and it's just on a table yeah she messaged me and she was like why do you have my amethyst <laughs> you Bloggy's saying show it yeah come on, on Bloggy. Yeah. show the show the show the jewel if you're listening to this head to youtube to watch this 800 pound piece of crystal 800 i thought it was 500 I it was yeah. oh they're like five to eight if you google what? it like just I mean, a rock. I mean, it is nice to look at. It's pretty I cool. haven't had it valued, but when you Google amethyst of that size, it's, like, it's just it just sat in yeah, our house for nice. years. And it, I, I was saying, is this? Does it go purple because of um, the oxygen? I, I guess because so. back here it's. Yeah, like, how does it suddenly become purple as it gets closer to the edge? I think we're on the wrong podcast for that. <laughs> like, that sounds like a geology thing. Yeah, yeah. this is not. <laughs> Geology project. Anyone got the answers? Yeah, I was going to say. DM us. Anyone know? Yeah. Blogger. You got any nerds? That's awesome. Do they form in England? Sorry. What's wrong with so Dalek's face? There. What's wrong, mate? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like terrified. <laughs> He's like, you moved my crystal. Um, I don't know if they form in England. I once bought a very small one off a man at the top of a mountain in Morocco. And within about a week of getting home, all the purple, purple faded away. So I think <laughs> he maybe- just colored it in. I think so. Like <laughs> it was glass amazingly glittery and like amazing. And I was like, cool, I'm gonna buy a little gift. Cause we, we did this cycling film up to the top of the middle of fucking nowhere. Mm. And there were these people selling stuff and you know, they just come and surround you. And I was yeah, like- looky, looky, man. Yeah, and I was like, I never buy anything for Sarah. That's quite pretty. I'm going to buy that. Got it home, put it on the side. And within about a week, it was like, you see how like it's really kind of the white bit, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of purple. But like, it was as if all the saturation had just been pulled out of it. Wow. So I don't know what happened, but. Thank you, got hustled. The they do. Um, yeah. There we go. <clears throat> went to a mine in Wales. Oh yeah, your dad so went. We know the truth. My dad Logan went to a mine in Wales. There we yeah, go. And they had them there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so Kings of the Concrete, which mm. is unfortunately an event we should be at right now, and we're not, and I'm incredibly sad about it and salty. Who's, is Travis and Ethan there? Travis is there. I'm pretty sure Ethan's Rachel? there. Rachel's there. Yeah, I didn't know Kevin Rachel's went there. Well. Yeah, I think. Yeah, Ellis, Ke Ellis probably. Yeah. Rachel qualified wow. second. Um, there's loads Sick. of people out there. Mm. And basically, from what I, I had chats with Gabe about it a few weeks ago, a month ago, whatever. They're keeping a lot of it very under wraps. They are not filming it publicly. Yeah, that's this. why. I was, what they are I was doing is they're it. filming it and then they're releasing it like as a polished sort of, uh, I think like a polished kind of event film or whatever, or event series. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. I don't even know the exact competition format. I don't know what I know. You rough, don't know if it's skill, speed, style. Or oh, I think it's style because obviously the qualifying the well, yeah, style the is, yeah, sorry. Style yeah, I think it's very much like, and a, I think it's some strange format where it's like head to head lines until, and then it's like survival of the fittest or something. Not like fittest, but it's yeah. like 2v2, winner goes on, two, yeah, like almost like a when tennis. On, the best way. I think it's like a tennis yeah. thing. 
Um, Say it again. Winner, well, st- winner stays on. Yeah, so it's like you and me have a style. We each do a line. Mm-hmm. I guess an audience votes or judges vote. I don't really know. Oh, judges, because Travis is a judge. Yeah, that's yeah. It. And, and the Instagram it was an audience. And they were, what, and they choose yeah. between the two? Yeah, and so in the same way that Tempest like, um, In breakdancing, I think it's called Seven to Smoke or whatever. Oh, uh, okay. So, the, so there's one person who's on and then they do something and yeah. then they vote and then you have to basically get through as many as possible. Yeah, because I've just realized that's the exact, no, this is so dumb, because that's the exact same way that Tempest run their Instagram competition, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because it just really, like, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So it must be that. Yeah. Um, I've heard where it's happening, but I haven't heard what the setup is. And I don't think where it's happening is public knowledge, so I won't say. Um, but I'm really curious and I'm really sad that we couldn't be there because we were going to basically bring the podcast out and hopefully we can still do that for... Mm-hmm future events but it's yeah if anyone wants that yeah NAPC you want to bring come, us over there we'll come out with our, our little setup and bloggy mm-hmm. in a, if we'll have bloggy in a fucking suitcase like <laughs> like a fold out like <laughs> part of their gadgets just <laughs> yeah, yeah that whole setup just like packs down and folds back out um, <laughs> but no I, I'm very sad mm-hmm. also Does it? Yeah. Yeah. exciting to watch after um, I just I think <laughs> it's just knowing that there's like what a hundred people together in a nice country just all having classic. fun mm-hmm. and it's like that's what we do but classic that. formal yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to do that mm-hmm. yeah. um, but no I'm excited <laughs> to I don't I can't remember when the the event must be this weekend I think or maybe like early next week yeah. uh, but I assume we'll like find out who the winner is and then and I think the prize money is pretty big I think they're doing like a big lump sum for the winner mm-hmm. and keeping it very much like king takes all kind of thing oh, I, I think i think um i could be completely wrong we could check it but we got no wi-fi do you reckon oh. travis will release a vlog before they release maybe Something he'll probably. he'll fucking well, that'd be a bit sneaky he'll dish it all out maybe yeah yeah, yeah i don't know see what happens before maybe they'll have that'd to sign so, that'd be so tragic sign ndas they get like <laughs> no views on that yeah <laughs> travis did do something very cool in la which he hasn't released yet really yeah have i seen it we talked Send about it yesterday chat. and there, there was a video it was the video that the you video put on snapchat yeah yeah a video of a video, like of a camera. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Oh. Yeah, but you know what it is. No, he think so. did a. We spoke about it yesterday. He did a big thing that's never been done before. Oh, that. Yeah. yeah that. Was there a clip of it? Yeah, I've seen On the, the clip. Snapchat group chat though. Not there. Was WhatsApp. it done well? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Wow. So that will go out, and that that has some viral potential, that's, I reckon. Yeah, big team. Big so, big team. That's yeah. amazing. Um, so that's only been jumped before, is it? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really. It's not like anyone's gonna. Yeah, it's not. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not like it's gonna lose the hype if if nah. we do that. But end of that. Yeah, it'll probably be out after he releases it. And it was done without any modification. <laughs> and guess what? Our next was it actually. Well, as far could, from what I could, could see, yeah. Yeah. Nice. I mean, guess what? Our next topic is. That's a good segue. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I know what it is. Oh, you just look like you. I was trying to, you know, I was trying to be snappy. Yeah. <laughs> snappy. I don't need to guess. <laughs> it's right here in front of me. Yeah. Um, no, I think this was a topic that we kind of, we've touched on a couple of times on the podcast and also in person, but never really dived into because it's such a good podcast debate. And uh, the Origins guys did it actually, Renee and Tom, they spoke about it on their podcast. Mm. Um, but it's the modification. Well, they spoke about it specifically to manpower, but it's mm-hmm. the like the the ongoing or well, the, the sort of there's been chatter about when is modification of a spot. Like, it's obviously never cheating, but oh, when wait. is it changing it to what's it to what's it's such a blurred line. Like, You're what's taking so many variables out that the challenge is almost changing. But yeah. Also, like, where's mm-hmm. the line? Because obviously, yeah, there's lots of things you can do without changing the challenge. Because mm-hmm. it's like, I mean, let's take manpower. <laughs> the guy corked it and i think they built the thing platform wasn't it and then mm. i think a guy went up and did the 720 with the platform mm. he did this i think sound. he did it with the platform i yeah. think he did yeah i, I can't sure. but i think the guys who built the thing with for the cork. but let's take the cork it's like corking manpower is still undeniably impressive yeah like yeah. it's fucked the, but doing yeah. it without that but setup, doing it without lip, is the kind of i think actually so much more fun oh so like that, much when more. you know there's that much of a difference then obviously i feel like that can't yeah not be talked about yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. but obviously no without, without kind of taking credit away from the cork gap no but no, no one's obviously done yeah. it without but if yeah. somebody were let's say you went and did it you would immediately oh, sit above him in terms of yeah. thing 
Which is fine because he, mm. I think he'd admit that as well. Yeah, because mm. other variables add into it. So like you have a precise takeoff. Yeah. He didn't have to think about yeah. that. Do you know what I mean? it's a little but it's extra. like, well, so when, where, like it's, I, th I just find it really interesting because it, because then you take it back to like, let's say IMAX and people have, it doesn't exist anymore, but the Mahatma block that we mm. used to roll around and move and people used to do like the running pre of the gap, obviously doing the yeah. running pre without Mahatma is a much bigger deal. Yeah. But even then the placement of Mahatma where, where you put Mahatma yeah, etc. can also like, add stuff to the challenge though as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Harder. So that's yeah, or we'll open up new challenges and things. Yeah. And it's like when, I think, I think, I think it just has to be decided within yourself while you're training, mm. like whether or not you're using it to like open up a challenge for everyone to do for fun. And then you can do it and then go, is it possible without it as well? And then yeah. you see if it's possible. You and just got to understand that it's like, it's, it does make a challenge completely different. Yeah. And it's like jumping to a fence that's wobbly. Mm -hmm. just, and if somebody holds the fence. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like, it's different to if it's yeah. mm -hmm, I think done the without. difference if the challenge is undoable without it, or you're just making it easier for yourself and taking yeah. like, you know, the shortcut. Oh yeah, for so sure. Like, oh, this is undoable unless you move this. Mm -hmm. And then it's a no challenge. But yeah. if you're just say adding a platform to make the takeoff easier, it's, that's a very end self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless you know it's just not doable with But then it's like, well, if, if you if you just start taking on challenges that are undoable and you're modifying them, I guess you're just building just your, own, your own you're, challenges. Yeah, you're just yeah, modding yeah. your own environment, aren't you? Because you could go around with like a step up block and I've, I've always wanted to build a portable step up block and take it around London. Like yeah. I, I had this idea. Somebody needs to make this because I've had it in my head for years. What'd you say? Geo? Geo. Geo? They? Yeah, they sold portable like precision trainers. They're like rubber blocks about the size of a cinder block. Yeah, but you can't fit Did that. they make a video of it? Backpackable. Yeah, Backpackable. all right, here's the idea, right? <laughs> Somebody make this, Bloggy, you can make this. Yeah. Darwin, don't look like you're gonna bark. I'll fight you. Ooh, he looks so, so, that? so yeah, lips grumpy, lips yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> you have a laptop, a thing the size of a laptop, 15 inch laptop, and it folds flat, oh, this right? is like that. Oh, and inside it, it's got like cross hatched legs, like bra braces, so it folds up. So it has a little handle on top or whatever, or a little divot. <clears throat> So it's a flat thing like that and it folds up like that. So it then becomes about that size and about that big. So because the 15 inch laptop is perfect size for, a, you could pre to that, everything. What you then have is, you know, the like jerry can style water, like two and a half liter big old, they may be like four liters. Mm -hmm. They're like, they're those. you have a couple of those, which you can easily just carry around empty, tie them mm -hmm. to your bag or whatever. But also you could very easily, you know, go to a river, go to a shop, fill them up with thing. That I would imagine is probably enough weight potentially for a step up. Mm -hmm. Not to jump to, but maybe to land yeah, to. Yeah, the bottom yeah. of the thing is obviously grippy. So you mm -hmm. have this thing in your laptop compartment in your bag and you go, oh, we need a step up. And that locks in, that stays solid. You then take these two jerry can things, yeah. slot them in underneath, that's your weight. And then you've got your step up block. Mm. So you could just roam around and be like, we need a step up, boom, got one. Mm -hmm. There you go, take that idea and make millions. Boom. I <laughs> reckon no one would be bothered to buy it. Five people would buy it, yeah. <laughs> but it'd be, it'd be fun to, someone needs to make a video of doing that mm. because there's definitely some cool challenges that will open yeah, up. Sure. I always like sure. used to think if you had a step up, if you took like Mahatma to Baby 45, you could do like hurdle arm jump. Yeah. Cause you could go over the wall uh, yeah. or even step, step running free to the top. Mm. It's like stuff like that. You yeah. could just take that around. Very true. But, That's um, a fun idea. But there's not just like modifying spots with step ups. There's obviously other things like little things like grip taping things. Yeah, because grip taping, that's modding spots, removing oh, like, like what the branches, branches tied back. Yeah, stuff yeah. Like I mean, like stuff like that is obviously just like your vision. But that's like small, like small videos. Yeah, it's, 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 it's always the challenge. It's more like it's the know, line, isn't it? It's like where's the line? Yeah. And that that's again, you just you got to establish it. I mean, there's that there's that skate film that you mm. watched recently. And oh they, yeah, the guys go and literally clean and prune yeah. spots. Mate, they like, they skate, it's like making that, spots that, basically. Skaters yeah. take cement around and they have they have special stuff they use to like, let's say you have a bank mm. and it's got like uh, mini potholes in it because it let like a rollout bank from yeah. a trick and they'll smooth that, they'll go the day before and they will fucking cement that shit and make it possible. Mm. And that's kind of sick. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's dedication. It's not, it's it's like, like, what about repairing spots? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We don't do that. Yeah, Bloggy, if, you, if you're gonna speak, Absolutely. follow the rules. <laughs> is my mic on? There we go, yeah. your mic is on, yeah. Okay. Luis broke the, t um, fixed the tile that Max broke in Lisbon. Did he? Oh, he said he was going to, I don't know if he Luis, ever did. Luis broke it, I don't know if he well, fixed it. But he did say about it, he, he was really I unhappy about it. I think he broke it before, it. and then oh, he, he was so unhappy it, about and then it. Max broke it again. I think that's what it was. Max never broke it. Did it? Someone, Travis broke one recently. So Max broke one when he did the jump. No, because Max never did the jump. 
Oh no, I didn't. There was like half of Soul Destroyer why, why was devoted to Max. I swear someone broke a slate while we were there, and that's why. Yeah, totally Luis, he did was it. Was it, it snapped? Was yeah, it, he snapped it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really? yeah, I thought it was the time before. And um, I know he was really sad. Yeah, I think mm. fi fixing spots is a good idea, yeah. but also yeah, some <laughs> something like that with skaters when they actually make yeah the bank bit. Yeah, at the end of the day, they are just making something for fun. Like yeah. that's yeah. Mm. Like, I, sometimes you don't need to overthink the like, is it modding it or is it not? It's just if it creates a new thing to play on. Yeah, and that's that. And it's like always it's about it's, it's like purpose. What's your purpose with modifying it? Yeah. Whether you're just playing or whether you're like, let's purposely mod this to make this possible, or try. And now let's see if it's possible without. There's, there's like, something in parkour though where I think people like to make it hard for themselves. In yeah, the sense I that, think so too. Because it's like oh. Mm. It's like, like adapting, isn't it? Yeah, Adapt it's like the old thing is there. like because you could just jump. To it's the n it's nice not modding anything. Yeah, sometimes. And it's like we a skater can I don't know mm. do a kickflip, and a kickflip let's say is doing a running pre for us. But then we're we're like okay, well let's running pre to a rail, mm -hmm. and now let's put that rail ten feet up, and now that rail's a bit wobbly. Mm -hmm. And people are like sick. The challenge is getting harder. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. it's that improvement thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like once yeah. you know you've done it, you're like, well, what's the next? Because I guess thing? also for skaters like let's take the banks it's like the roll away is an important completion it's like the it's mm -hmm. the proof that you've completed the thing and therefore they could maybe kick flip into that bank a hundred times mm. but if if the roll away is going to be like if if it they're on the board perfectly and mm. they would roll away but that is going to be affected by i guess it's in the, the same thing again though because it just could be someone who wants to take it further and go well i don't want to do it with the bank yeah i'm yeah. just gonna ride it i'm just gonna like because and i think people would appreciate seeing that in a video too because i'd be like well he did it without it yeah it's which like is whether better. you try to push your limits or whether you're just trying to have fun you do yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's, it's such a there's it's definitely nothing spectrum. wrong with it inherently yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just Not an interesting all. like it, it sort of yeah as we said yeah. a spectrum of i think the only thing where it's like mm -hmm. you know like not to sort of bring it back up and uh, act as if we're trying to shit on it, but like Arthur sticking the concrete at IMAX with all the crash mats, mm. that obviously made a significant difference to his ability to stick that mm -hmm. because he knew he could take that bounce as many times as he wanted because he's doing mm -hmm. it to a crash mat. Because mm. they had one of those fucking big boys, didn't they? Yeah. Whereas Marcio didn't have, if he, he if you want. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So it's yeah. like that definitely is a bit like more mm -hmm. kind of. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. It's cool because you got to see that he had the capability to stick it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like, yeah. Well, but there was something. It. But it's like, but there's less fear involved of it. And that's like one Which of the biggest things out of doing parkour is and the and mental especially side. Especially within that scenario where the biggest fear is the height. Yeah. So like if you take yeah. out the height, it's completely different. Like to me, as much as Arthur stuck it physically, he didn't stick it properly. Mm -hmm. Whereas Marcio, did he ever? He did get it eventually. Yeah. He did right? get it. But he, he wasn't, wasn't happy with it. He wasn't happy with it. Yeah. yeah. Um, like I, I would sort of argue that Arthur has not done that properly. Mm -hmm. Whereas the guy who corked uh, manpower corked manpower properly, but with a step up. Yeah, no, like, I agree. It's sort of it's 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 just a spectrum, isn't it? No, I know what you mean. Um, <clears throat> but it is yeah, it's kind of just an interesting thing because mm -hmm. it's like you could we can go around and film a big project, and technically you could. I mean, with we've, we've taken out railings, mm -hmm. yeah. and that's modding that's a spot. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So Where and I think that is a very obvious one actually. If people don't know what you're on about, it's the soul just not Resur soul, uh, resurgence. resurgence. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly the, the first clip in resurgence. I was talking to Travis in Brighton and he said that there was a spot they were looking at where they wanted to take one out to do like a Kong Prix and they couldn't get the railing out. Mm. And like skaters do that a lot as well. And it's like Well, it was in one of the capstone things as well. They took out something. Yes, it was in the first capstone, yeah. yeah. And because that's one of those ones where it's like, well, spiked. you're literally making a jump. Like that's, you're making the jump. That's possible. not making yeah, it easier. Yeah. That's actually making it possible. Which yeah, because really no yeah, one yeah, can yeah. jump to a spike fence. No, well, yeah, maybe. Well, also, especially if it's on the wall, like the one you took out for resurgence. Yeah, it you was can't. Quite tall wasn't it? Was it in the was middle it? of the wall? It was like probably tall knee. Left. It's knee high on top of a concrete wall. You could. Yeah. You can't do that jump there without taking space it. With yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't land on the wall. Yeah, exactly. Um. So yeah, I think it's that. That kind of thing's cool. Yeah, for sure. As long as you're not that fucking it up and destroying it, like, as long as you put it back. Yeah, mm -hmm. put it but back. people should. Not that we were meant to be talking about this, but people should take care of their spots more. Mm. Be more respectful. I think, be more respectful and like, yeah, if things get broken, try and take a bit more responsibility. The, I think the thing. I mean, that I can I can say that I've definitely like broken broke things at spots before, yeah, yeah. and you get scared and you're like, shit. Kind of put it back to it's, where it's meant to be, and you're like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's really tough now. if it's like a you're significant like, wall or a handrail because it's 
well, it's, it's like, no who do I speak it. to? Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm, this is not good. Yeah, but, it's, it's, but it's, being more, I think maybe just being more mindful so that doesn't happen because- When also like the other, the two big things are like graffiti, which never used to be a problem and now mm -hmm. is, and IMAX to be fair is not all parkour yeah. athletes, but definitely some. That and, bit's a bit annoying because it's like, that's not actually training. That's just yeah. happening. And, but litter is probably one of those annoying ones mm -hmm. where it's like, like, it's so easy to just, you know, leave a fucking packet of crisps on a wall and walk away. But it is the type, like, you think about half the spots in England probably have residential properties where people look, oh, like yeah, they, they'll be it. overlooking. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And most of those people will be completely fine with the occasional parkour athlete coming along. But as over time it goes on, if that starts, shit starts to pick up, that's where it's like, oh, there's the kids. Oh, they're going to leave a mess. Again. And eventually when it then comes to like the debate of like, oh, should we do something to stop those kids fucking mm. about? You're going to have way less people on your side being like, yeah, no, they're they're just exercising. If it's like if there's a niggling, like ah, oh, they're quite messy. Mm. So it's like well, I've, it's, I've had seen. I'm sure we've all heard that before as well. You know, when you go and get booted from somewhere, mm -hmm. and they think oh. that you're the people who always come here. Yeah, like in Tunbridge Wells, that them. spot, Knight's Wood. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, you guys always come here, and you're like, leave shit you around. You broke a slab last time. And we're like, no, that wasn't us. Yeah. So that's why you've got to be careful because someone else will get the neck, like get it in the neck for it. True. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, fuck. We need. We're oh, you boring. Know be careful. Yeah, be be nice people. You know who it could have been? Who? It could have been those. Well, this is an episode of segways that are ruined by the fact that we're addressing the segway. But it could have been those pesky rollerbladers. Yeah, they love that spot. <laughs> I've seen them there all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. So that we we just have parkour into rollerblading because it appears. I think especially in America, although Jimmy Kieran is jumping on it as well. Mm. Yeah. A lot of parkour people going into rollerblading or picking yeah. it up as a kind of oh, wow. side a side thing do you think that's from Jemmy's video of the I think he's definitely helped I think yeah, to a degree I think there already was a significant movement in America because like the beans all ski and skiing has a lot of parallels to rollerblading and the, the, in a lot of the like flippy styles that they have and things mm. uh, and they those guys are all pretty big into it I think a lot of them inlined it anyway yeah. mm. but now you're seeing like Bob Reese and things and it's wild because you get these guys who have like like Bob's been putting stuff up and he's like, I've never worn roller rollerblades before. End of the session, doing a backflip. <laughs> yeah, really? Like, like, yeah, they're like, they, they learn a backflip and they go, cool, well that's done. And then they're like, can I add a twist? And they're like, I can add a twist. It's the same. <laughs> Jeez, that's so sick. So, but I'd, re I'd be really sure. curious to know, a rollerblade's a weird one because it died off for so long and now it's having a bit of a resurgence. Oh, it's really yeah. Yeah. a resurgence. The last time I went to an indoor skate park, it was more bladers really? than anyone else. There were so many and I, I rarely ever see bladers at wow. skate parks anymore yeah, just and they're all that. older they were all like late, it's it's like, late 30s it's people my age who used They've to do it a bit as a it. kid yeah. Yeah. Skates out there blowing the it. dust off yeah because yeah. yeah. like callum used to skate as well didn't he yeah i think he still does a bit yeah but like so there's that people who have come from skating into parkour and now people are going back out yeah is it skating is it blading, blading. Is it well, you can call it blading. skating as well. blading. it's gone blade. yeah <laughs> mm. but um i'd just be really curious to know like how because inlining definitely has a style or I mean obviously there's a, sp a whole range of styles but like I'd say street inline is very mm. it has a style and there's a, obviously a lot of grinds and like stair jumps and what I'm seeing is a lot of the guys getting in parks and quickly learning flips and things mm -hmm. Kieran's been out doing grinds Darwin I think that's the bit that there's not as much parallel with which yeah is and I'll be uh, grinding and stuff I'll be curious to see whether or not these guys sort of lean into it more and want to take mm -hmm. that further or if it's just like ah this is fun yeah, that some of the bean guys are definitely like doing that. That they seem to just basically they either train, they either grind, they either ski. Mm -hmm. and, like depending mm -hmm. on the season and what they're up to, and they're constantly like building sets. That's and cool. Things. That's very the cool. thing I absolutely fucking despise, though, and I will publicly say this because I've got absolutely no shame. The walk back is the the par the new. It's not even a new trend, but the parkour athletes who land a parkour move and then walk backwards as if they are in line skating. Mm. It back. is the worst. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. <laughs> it's, mate, the parody video you did a while so ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I felt a bit mean for doing that. It's, but it, but it is, it's just it. It's the land, you stick a, like, like you like land a flip it. with not much m traveling momentum and then walk backwards with your arms to the side as if you're stabilizing. Yeah, yeah, dab or something. But it's yeah. as if you're stabilizing <laughs> the roll of, of skating. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, nah. 
Yeah, nah. It it's it's hard because it's like people can do what they want. They but, can, but, but no. Yeah. We're it's, still it's, it's like, Keelan, yeah. you could kill a small child in this room right now, but no, you shouldn't do it. Yeah. It's, it's just morally <laughs> wrong. Yeah, they're kind of on the same level. It, yeah. comp- <laughs> killing a child and doing, like, <sighs> I would put it pretty close. Blading without <laughs> blades. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. pretty fucking close. To be fair, though, then you've got people like Yanis Shower. Doing like fucking grinds down the rail. Yeah, but that's yeah, epic as shit. Yeah, that's, so that's cool. actually. But also, fun. he doesn't roll out of it as well. There's a, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he just lands. He, lands, <laughs> he lands and walks off. If he yeah. did that and then walked out, I'd say, mate, that was sick. That was the equivalent of killing a small child. Yeah. Um, and he's a dad now as well, so he knows. Like he's got to be, <laughs> he's got to be careful about that. Mm-hmm. There's a, a growing resurgence of soap shoes as well. Really? Yeah, because mm. it's like well, super like, uh, what does Travis call it? Slide time. Yeah. What's your slide time, dude? But it's like, the soap shoes are designed exactly for that purpose. Yeah. And I saw some big page, like, I think like Bob Reese was promoting them or something. Like, I'm... I know that they're so... That there's that, it's an actual thing, but I'm I find that... I'm a little that, bit scared it gets too... I find linked. that one hard to, like... To, it sounds so closed-minded, but I find that one hard to take seriously. Soap shoes. Mm, it, like, I think slide on, time's sick. Slide time's sick, but it, just because I can see the parkour athletes are doing it without soap shoes. Yeah, true. You know? Imagine doing like a 20, but really. like, uh, let's say like a 25 but set. Ha, you, yeah, you there are just, some fucked things on YouTube with soap shoes that people are doing like big handrails and things. And it's like, if, I don't know, you did a fucking congainer into a double side flip, massive running pre, and you're wearing- Congainer double side flip running pre. Uh, yeah. It's a congainer, you land. You then run double, forward. You do I'm, talking about, you know, I'm talking about late. I'm talking about line. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Line. I let's say so line. Line. <laughs> yeah, you do a power move, a power line. Like you can't get in, run can't forward, get in double side flip off a ledge. You run forward, do a big running pre, mm. and then like psych with you, soap shoes on. Yeah, but no one realizes at this stage because they're only soapy in the middle, right? Mm. Yeah. And then you jump onto a rail and do like a 25 set with two kinks. Yeah. And then. And then you land like that. Yeah. And then, and then the rest of it is just irrelevant. It, no, at that if, you, point. if you don't land like you're a child murderer, yeah. then <laughs> then kind of sick. Yeah. Obviously, if you did, I guess it's so like modding spots. If I you just did don't it without know how you train in soap shoes, they look so hard. Mm. I've never, but but, but maybe Probably. the next park or shoe is going to have, have a little, little soap attachment. Yeah. No, because remember for ages. Any forum you would look on, this is forum days when you buy parkour shoes. Yeah, they'd talk to be me, like, 23 year old. Yeah, they'd be like, avoid all the shoes with the plastic <laughs> yeah, plate yeah, because yeah. it sucks for anything. If you have like, even your tech is slightly off that day, you're fucked. Yeah, yeah. but that's just, rail, ugh, but maybe, plastic, maybe that's yeah. the game you have to play. Maybe Damn. it's, that is the, the, I'm still thinking about the line that you just put together. <laughs> Con gainer, then double side, then a running pre. That's it's not space that. though, it's not too bad. Like, yeah. I know, George, but imagine, imagine someone doing Congainer. it so they con gainer off something that's right next to a ledge. So as soon as they land and the con game, they're not they're impossible. Like, I, thinking, no, I know it's sick. I mean, I've I mean, seen George do con game. It's realistic, but quite hard. Yeah. Con game a double side, and then they land the double side, just a small adjustment into one, two running pre. George physically wow. could do that. Mm. He's done con game a side flip on flat, as yeah. have a lot of people. You yeah. just make that ledge four foot off the ground. It was double mm. side out without, ta- yeah. The tuck a little yeah. Bit. Do it by accident. Longer. I reckon someone just needs to do, you know, like and when they have the handrails that like have the kinks and just like miss out the whole first bit. No one, no one got my dig then. What'd you say? I said, and then it'll hashtag boo t- boohoo. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> we get so many messages about that. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I we spoke about it on the podcast a couple of weeks ago. Like yeah. somebody saying I'm like, why forgotten. does he, wh- why is he wearing boohoo when he sponsors my motors? It's because boohoo pay him a lot of money, mm-hmm. but they are a slightly immoral company. But mm, yeah, slightly. He can make his own choices. So mm-hmm. I, I love that boy, but yeah. Um, oh, now that sounded so salty. No, keep the salt. No, keep I really salt. like George. You ended it with no, you done it. Boy, so it's okay. Yeah, you've done it. Yeah. I genuinely, it I have no problem with him wearing it. Georgie hates you. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. No, he doesn't. Or maybe he does. But but yeah, maybe the game you have to play is is you wear soap shoes. You have to just have good technique because you should anyway. If you're going to even start parkour immediately, yeah, you should sure. have good technique. Mm. Um, that's to be expected. And. Then you just do slides. Yeah. I'd rather see people doing soap shoots than child killers. Oh yeah, of child course. Killers, that's the new name. That's the name. Child yeah, killers. That's the new name. I think I, I have more of a problem. Actually, no, I really fucking hate that landing. I, I just, just have more of a problem with for, like the pretending you're on blades, even in the line that you're doing. Yeah, but soap shoes is just, you're not on blades, you're on soap shoes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, the, the pretending on you're on blades thing, it's like, 
I, I'm completely fine with going like, oh, this is my style of flip with a weird, like they- like, Yeah, the grabs are pretty cool sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, that's they scary. actually, cause they're, yeah. they're probably fucking hard as well. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Like, I'm completely fine with taking influence from the sport, mm. but the the movement where you walk as if you are a child pretending to rollerblade. Mm. Like it's like me walking down the corridor going, <laughs> I'm driving a cart. No, you're fucking not. <laughs> like it's the same thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Never know. It just might be naturally house. <laughs> it's just how, it just yeah. feels and, so and they're like, "What? Do I do that?" They didn't even know they did. <laughs> you see his Instagram story. It's just actually how he walks to the shop. Like, <laughs> like this. Yeah. God. Um, should we talk about Camilla? Yeah, the wondrous Camilla. Mm. Uh, I, it, has, her, I always get confused by her surname because she's got two, and I think I always refer to her as the. I always think it's Camilla. Ste- is it Stefano Ru- Rubero? But it's yeah. Mm. Anyway. Uh, as as we we I put out an email and an Instagram post yesterday, um, but she oh, the crew neck annoyingly is in the other room. She uh, obviously broke her ankle. Um, you don't need to get it, bloggy. It's all right. You can just you, you fucking you rest Relax. yourself. Yeah, broke her ankle. Up. She had like a what a year of just awful ankle issues where she couldn't train, and mm. she prior to that was just on such a such a good path. Yeah. Had a year of the just savage, were- yeah, yeah, year yeah. of savagery. Really, really suffered mid pandemic as well, which didn't help. And then, and she's so good at rehab, so it's not like she's taking that shit like not seriously. Mm-hmm. Was just starting to get back on the sort of the path, and then snapped her ankle skateboarding, like savagely as well. So she's and is that my phone? Probably because oh, we are professionals, Robbie. <sighs> Who has their phone on loud? I was expecting a call back. Uh, <laughs> who is it? Do you want me to do? Does it, mum work? Just hang up. Mum work? You don't want to pick up? I'll phone her back. We can put her on. We can plug <laughs> put it her in. on. <laughs> Still ringing. I've heard good things about your mum, Robbie. It's a FaceTime call as well. Oh no. my God. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, amazing. But yeah, she uh, fucked her ankle. She's Brazilian, lives in Lisbon. Medical costs are not cheap. Like she was quoted some horrible sums for surgery and things. And uh, we immediately, like, I think even the day it happened, we were like, cool, we need to like try and help you out. And we started talking about selling prints or, or garments with her stuff on it. It's taken a bit longer than we wanted to get it kind of organized. And actually we were meant to have three products come out, but we've had stock issues with the shirts that we wanted to use for the other ones. So we've only got this crew neck for now, um, but it's going on sale on the 11th, which is a Monday, 6 p.m. Uh, I can't remember the price. Need to check the website, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, we'll we'll probably never make it again. So it'll be sort of limited edition, and yeah, fifty percent of those profits will go directly to Camilla to basically help. But actually, to be honest, she put together that GoFundMe, and the parkour community already just killed it. Yeah, like so I mean, the, the problem is, yeah, it's yeah. so good to hear. The mm-hmm. problem, like physio bills, just keep adding up though, because it's like she has to keep yeah. getting treatment. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fucking amazing that people are that supportive. Because mm. at least, I mean, like when you buy a product and the profits help, at least you're getting something in return. But that was like mm-hmm. a few grand of people just saying, just here's some cash. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you get that in a lot of communities as well. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Specific. I, was, I think that is, I guess, I guess it's, a, it's just the privilege of having a good connected community like this. Mm-hmm. And then also building up a bit of like, I don't know, like let's say your hernia did turn into something nasty and mm-hmm. we didn't live in a country with free healthcare. Because that's the tricky thing is like, let's say you were like, oh, I need this much money to go private. People would be like, mate, you've got yeah, the NHS, yeah, got sorry. It. Yeah. But like, let's say you, I don't, you had a family of tragedy or something. It's like, because you have a bit of a platform, there's a little bit more confidence in me and like, I think I could ask for help. Like if I, yeah, obviously yeah. you don't want to ask for help, but it's like, you think, you needed to. if you needed to, at least there's kind of that. That is a benefit of yeah. grinding in that way, I feel like. It's like, you, you know. Mm-hmm. Just, it just, I just feels like so many sports are just so tight yeah. from such a distance as well from mm-hmm. people we meet for one event or like two or three days and you're like it's a new best friend that's a yeah, new person yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 go in love with for a week or stay in their house and, you know I mean? it's, it's so, so good sick. it's, it's so, so good sick. it's different did you see I don't know why it's reminding me of this did you see the Red Bull's kind of new I actually video? haven't watched it yet it's really good yeah, yeah I heard yeah. it was really good I was kind of waiting for it to be okay no I, I saw Max Henry put a thing on his story and he was like um if you'd have told me back in 2007 when yeah, Red Bull put it? on their first... Why is it not off silent? Because you're an amateur. Yeah, he's like, if you'd have told me in 2007 when Red Bull put on their first comp that they sort of, however many years later, would still be the only big brand 
sort of pushing parkour and actually doing quite a like decent job of it given mm. all the kind of backlash of kind energy drinks and things he was like you can't discredit that they obviously have people within their team who were like trying to do the right yeah. thing which is and, sick and like, you, you should watch the video after this because yeah. it is it's just so good it's mm. so right like it's really I, up to date it's like yeah all the right lingo you can clearly tell the guy doesn't do parkour but he knows lots about it yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's really you're really saying it's yeah. like if I'd be happy for a muggle to watch this. Yeah, you know, yeah. like it, it's, yeah. and it goes out on the Rebel channel, which has got millions of subscribers, mm. and it's like I want to see more of that. Sports. Yeah, mm. more people actually getting involved. Very occasionally, stuff like that comes out, and you're like, good. Like, yeah, that's a good resource to <laughs> uh -huh. be like, take this, like watch that. Yeah, I don't know if you ever saw um, Lorena put out a video. It's probably like at the start of the pandemic, maybe. In a very like kind was of it her just her like speaking to the camera yeah and of. she was just describing parkour yeah she did and a pretty good job it was a really good I, really, I don't think I've seen that I really. think so because she obviously did that TV show because my mum shared that as well yeah she, she managed to see she, it she did that TV show in America that was like the sort of Ninja Warrior type thing and I think got quite a lot of almost like fame off of that um, and then did I think she was going to be the host I think she was the host of like a small TV channel. Yeah, she um, was. For a while. And mm. I think she kind of used that as a platform to be like, cool, well, I've got a lot of followers who are no longer parkour and basically did a very, like, simplified, like, this is parkour, this is what we think. Da, 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 da. And I was, I was really impressed with that. Yeah, that's so good. It's cool. like little resources like that are really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, love Eid. Um, should we start hyping soul ever so slightly? <laughs> oh, no. I know you don't want to. You know you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we've Obviously, people who listen to this regularly will know what we're talking about. Yeah. But, um, we did uh yesterday we did a full watch through of I what to watch it. yeah i'd say is like the first draft of it all being together yeah i'd say all the sections like all, all different sections. timeline sections kind of yeah paste, stuck and, and I'm, I'm glad we did it because it's that there's just a lot that needs fixing but also gave me confidence to make it into something that i really like i think your words were well. I hate it. Yeah, well, but, now that's, I, yeah. but that was what happened straight after. Like watching it with all of you guys, I was just tense the whole time because I want it to be over. I hate showing it to be. Yeah, yeah, I feel like yeah. you can see the shape. But it's that because it's taken. yeah, and it's also because I know like I can see all the things that I want to change. Yeah, but you guys don't know that's what I'm thinking oh, about it's, watching it. It's the it's like, I don't want you guys to think that I'm sitting there like, yeah, this is done. Yeah, you know. So <laughs> it's when like you show a client, to, yeah, it's hard not for me to while it's going to point out stuff like I'm going to change that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, it's yeah, it's turning into something good. Um, it's just a lot of work that yeah. I've, I wasn't used to. It's a lot of work. Like you guys are just in there every day, just yeah. grafting. Oh, that was it. We've realised as well that because we've there's so many sections and we've kind of been like, okay, Max, you take this section which was later in the film, and you take that one which is earlier. Now putting it together, you, I've realized there is a bit of a weird pacing issue mm. because we've done it in that way, but it's had to be done as a draft in that way. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. now like ironing it out, I feel like we can go from start to end Yeah, and you iron it out. So it feels like one thing. Yeah. I'm completely confident in you guys that it's heading yeah. in like a really good oh, direction. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's just, it's yeah. taken a lot longer and I don't want to push it hard if I'm not 70% happy with it. Yeah. You know? But you guys, I think, are learning so much. Like yeah. it's for, for uh, Max. Like Max isn't here right now. Sam's in there working on it at the moment. Yeah. Max like has just stepped because at the start it was all you. Like you mm. cut all the selects. You did all the interviews, and uh, even like organizing the interviews, it felt like it was predominantly you. Yeah. He's come in in the last few months and really stepped up, and he's fucking killing it. Mm. Um, Sam's here as much as he can be, and it, yeah, it's yes. it's so cool to see because it's so like weird from my perspective to just be like. Yeah, you guys I'm so it. grateful for Sam and Max because they proper like, they don't need to help, mm. you know, they'll get something out of it. But even Sam said today, it was like, I don't care if I make it, make anything from this or not. Yeah. But he yeah. feels like he's got a part. Oh, like, part I mean, it. like he needs to make it good. He needs to get it He's got his name on it. Like, yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Mm. Um, now I think yeah. and also like for full kind of transparency is like the first money that basically, aside from just covering like the basic costs, which were really what that weren't that much to. It was just mostly film. petrol and food. Yeah, but really. the, the first yeah. money that comes in is is basically going to go sort of a, a large portion to the guys editing it because they're just mm. that's all they're working on at the moment, um, mm -hmm. and it's it's taking huge amounts of the time and it's 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 another reason as to why is that noise? Is that rain? Yep. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if the people on the pod. I've been thinking as I've been speaking. Yeah. I was like that. Um, but the it's like these type of projects are such an important way about how we can benefit the people mm. behind them uh mm. like directly and it's going to be 
so sort of re rewarding almost from my perspective to know that we've if it, as long as it sells mm. that we've built a platform where it can be like cool like cash has come in and it's like it they, yeah like there and it won't take this long next time if that yeah. makes sense because i feel like we've just been quite unlucky with how long it's taken it, it's been a big because learning curve on the edit and i think also it's not just about when we were moving it took time away from it but also like kind of understanding how we were going to do it with because there's obviously interviews involved i don't know people know that yeah but we didn't know how what style the interviews needed to be you so like some those. of them are a bit more crap than others and things yeah because we were like okay we're just gonna go with that well the interviews also possible. the interviews were shot in like because we obviously had that summer that was good and then we went back mm. into lockdown so the interviews were shot basically some of the some of them keelan was there for yeah it's like half and some half yeah and others were shot on like you know we just had to get the guys to shoot their own interviews mm. so it's it's definitely not like the most it's never going to feel like the most polished mm. epic thing in the no. world mm. but um, it feels yeah I, I think the way it's heading and i think that as i've said before the way that i think people will really enjoy it is because it feels very like wholesome yeah and morous and like and i, I think because i know there's going to be people who will because there's a lot of people in parkour who are filmmakers and things mm. if i just pulled my headphones out if they're while watching it when it does come out if there's anyone who does want to critique it or think about it in that way we'll try and release like a director's commentary and things like that so like before you go like spurting your mouth all over social media <laughs> just go and watch like us talk about it while watching it because we will point out all of the things that we're not happy with it already and then you can yeah do you know what i mean like, yeah, yeah yeah but i think i'm, I'm still so impressed because it's like none of you guys have even done anything like you've you had the most experience and that was editing pretty much just the action sequences are spitting in the wind that yeah. helped so much like, i just realized how good you are at narrative because that's something that i'm trying to learn because obviously when we did spitting in the wind i was basically we had two computers i was doing narrative and like the glue and then you were predominantly doing action yeah uh and so for all of you like the, before that especially for like max like his experience was fucking youtube videos yeah and this is a completely different beast cool. yeah Mm. so but uh, yeah it'll be out we don't know exactly when because we just as as keelan said they want to be decently happy with it and there's there's things to improve and to change but mm. we're just going to slowly start to talk about it a little bit more and kind of bubble it up and then yeah already like and the aim is to have another larger project out at least i, I don't know i kind of want to like publicly be like no i think definitely publicly my my intention right from a completely personal perspective is to have a film out by the end of this year that is not like just me in terms of just just me but i have i I don't, did we speak about this? I don't know. I've spoken about it so much to you guys. Yeah, maybe. For, I, since Soul Destroy, I have not edited or filmed anything parkour related that has been of any significance or like big. And ever since Soul Destroy, I felt incredibly intimidated to put out a larger project because I get scared that people just think I'm like a washed up shit filmmaker because uh, everyone else is so <laughs> so, so dark. No, but it's like <laughs> so harsh. It's like you see, like I don't know, you see oh, some of the stuff in Breach. You see Toby yeah. and Sasha. You see Capstone and things well, like this. You're not, but there's your motivation. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, and I, I, I all I want to do is I'm going to start filming very, very soon, and I've got ideas and locations and concepts and athletes that I'm going to be working with, and I'm mm. going to film until I'm done, and then I'm going to edit it for a few months and mm. then release it, and I kind of need it to be a bit like it'll be a motors thing but i needed mm. to feel like i've put my heart and soul into it yeah and totally. then i need to take the responsibility about how that feels on the other end because mm. that's the bit i'm most scared about but i'm also fucking excited to do it and i want to get it done this year basically because yeah. also i'm like i've got daisy now and as much as i should almost be an excuse i'm like that's the adversity like i've got to try and work this around my other growing life mm. so hopefully I shouldn't even say hopefully, I should just say it's happening. No, it is Definitely. happening. That's By the, the end of this year, Definitely. there will be another big boy thing. And mm -hmm. at the same time, I think you guys also want to be... We just want to keep working on projects and things. Yeah, and not just, not just sold and, and not just paid for stuff. Like a, We'll work on something for YouTube after Soul, basically. Yeah. It's a bit mm -hmm. more project focused. But, it's more consistent. Cool. Um, yeah. But if people want to see more of that, not just from Motus, I think, yeah, it just everyone said this, but it just needs to be supported. Mm. You know, so more and more be better things will come out. Better, -ra -ra. better, -ra -ra. Re -ra -ra. Gooder. Gooder. better, better things. Sick. Um, we got anything else? This is there? episode ninety nine, isn't it? Yeah, next one is a big Ooh. one. Next He's gonna get week smashed or next something. Week. We had many suggestions. Ninety percent of them, I would say, involved alcohol about yeah. what we should do. I'm uh, down. Some some big guests. Some people were like, you know, get David Bell. 
small fry personally e- <laughs> easy easy uh some people were like you know get i think somebody said like connor stringer or something and it's like uh, that's not an episode no no offense to connor yeah. but it's not an episode 100 guest yeah like that's a normal someone guest. quite different yeah or quite yeah top Just tier needs, yeah top, top tier. tier um but you should throw your ideas somewhere at us for episode 100 you got a week Right. Have we got any challenges we could do as well as the the current oh, idea? I think there challenges? will almost certainly be alcohol involved. We've yeah. Got, what like just make it a bit more of a party? Can we wear like party hats? We can wear party hats. Put balloons in the frame. Yeah. <laughs> and we could I don't know chili sauce, chilies. Yeah. Oh, that'd be pretty fun to watch. Are we definitely getting a guest? I think we know who the guest is. I didn't know that if that was class cl- uh, classified information. If that was. Uh, an actual thing. I mean, at this stage, I mean, the flights have been booked, so I don't think we really have any other choice. Like, keep us looking stressed. Um, I don't know. We'll work it out. It depends. <laughs> there, there might be visa issues, so yeah. we'll sort it out. But uh, yeah, it's it'll be a good one. It, well, I can't guarantee it'll come out exactly next week, but we'll make it. It, it won't come out until it's ready. Maybe we'll do it from the top of a mountain as well. Yeah. Good audio quality. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. Robbie's ready. Robbie's ready. Robbie's ready. Oh, fuck. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm trying to put back on something. It's hard. Because mm-hmm. you're slinky. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm jealous of how warm you look because I'm actually so quite cold now. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm put it back on. Yeah. We, we got anything else we want to say? I know. Uh, we've got a uh, delivery of TMP mags that have arrived too late for all the orders to go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we had. Many, many orders going out a few days ago, mm-hmm. and uh, now the TMP mags arrived because they got delayed. Wicked. So, but you know, any order place want. after now, we'll get one. Mm-hmm. So they're arriving in a minute, and Darwin will no doubt go mental. So yeah. we should probably wrap this up. We'll, wrap we'll try and get more. We always say we'll try and do something. Try and we do this. We'll, we'll try and do, do that. This. We'll try and be more consistent with this and that. But we will try and get a bit back on the game. All we can do is try. Yeah. Or right. we will. Yeah, well, but we're, just because seeing some of the comments and like the Instagram stuff and they're like, need to see more training. Yeah, I'm 100% down to train more. We actually have a video that we filmed and I'm meant to be editing it and I've yep. just been busy, but I think I can probably bang it out. I maybe, think maybe, I don't know when, I'll have some time soon. Mm. We're always together. We're just doing shit here. And we're training more and more. So. Yeah. Because we know on YouTube, like you guys are bored of seeing just podcasts, just 10 questions. Like they will continue because they, we can do them and we can control them. We can knock them out in house. Mm. And there is a subsect of people who do like them. Like 10 questions has its own people who are like, I really enjoy this. And it's like, cool, well, we'll continue to do it. But we know that some people don't care. Yeah. Uh, but that's absolutely fine because I don't like landing backwards and pretending like I'm a child killer. <laughs> so killer. <laughs> you don't? I'll just keep... What? keep Digging my hole there. <laughs> I'm bursting for piss. Yeah, I need a piss as well. We can cross swords. Yeah. Uh, swords. All swords good? Fine. Finish? Yeah? yeah. You ready, bloody? Mm. Blotty? Bloody? Blood, blotty. Bloody. <laughs> bloody. All right, we'll see you for episode 100, everybody. It's going to be mental. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.